Yo, my people, just a quick note, I am not an astrologer. This is my personal knowledge from being a Pisces and to give another perspective on the most complex, misunderstood and underestimated sign. This is not to glorify or give people evil ideas. It's for self-awareness and a potential warning to others. Not everyone will have the same views and experiences and there's nothing wrong with that. Now let's get to it. Psychic. 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 Let me start by saying, when you hear Pisces and Psychic, don't confuse that by thinking every Pisces are fortune tellers, mediums, tarot card readers and so forth. I mean you'll have many many Pisces in that field, but that's not what's meant in general, but it can lead to that. When we're talking about Pisces being psychic and using telepathy, this is Pisces by default because Pisces is the psyche. Pisces represents the transcendence of the soul, the non-physical, the unification of all, feeling and seeing the unseen in conjunction to the seen. Neptune, one of Pisces rulers, is responsible for this. Neptune brings the highest level of intuition possible and makes Pisces the spiritual, mystical individuals they are. Encourages Pisces to be compassionate and loving individuals alongside the influence of Venus's exaltation in Pisces that basically beautifies everything with rose tints. Neptune brings enlightenment to Pisces, connecting the known with the unknown. The spiritual world is what one of the Pisces fishes will be dwelling in, whilst the other Pisces fish operates on Earth. And even though the two fishes are in different realms, they both are connected to one another. So on Earth, Pisces is able to apply the unseen to the seen. Pisces are connected to their psyche and others. That means Pisces is in tune with not only your human shell, but your thoughts, your mind, your soul, the person behind the person, the real feelings behind the shown feelings, everything that is not seen, Pisces is connected to it. So from that alone, you can see why Pisces are seen as psychic. There's a reason the sign before Pisces is the sign of the human collective. Because Aquarius sees this and then gets their hands on it and tries to apply it here. They're the visionaries, but Pisces are connected to what's being visioned. While others may see a crowd of individual people in a busy area all going their separate ways, Pisces sees those invisible glowing ropes that is connecting everybody to each other and the singular part of the rope that is leading to an unknown place i.e. the source. This is who you are dealing with when you are dealing with Pisces. One thing to know is, when it comes to Pisces being empathetic and healing people and reading people, Pisces doesn't go out of their way to do this. Probing people and trying to get into people's psyche is Scorpio's trait. With Pisces, either people go to a Pisces for some sort of help, which in turn makes them like a case study in that Pisces ocean, or Pisces will cross paths with someone and pick up something that needs further inspection. That invisible glowing rope that will be connecting us to them will be red. It will be an alert to Pisces. Think of Pisces like a therapist, a doctor, someone you consciously or subconsciously go to to get a form of treatment. Do not confuse this with Cancerian motherly energy. Cancers will heal those that are in a cancer's shell with them. Pisces are here to heal everybody. Cancers will heal you because you're around them. So it's like a selfish form of healing. Whereas Pisces can heal a stranger and never see them ever again. And the Pisces will be perfectly content with that because the job was done for the greater good, not for the Pisces their self. Pisces is symbolised by fishes in the water element. It's the most advanced water sign with the others being Scorpio and Cancer. All the water signs have a heightened sensitivity to the psyche of the human being than the rest. And let's not forget, water makes up 60 to 70% of the human body. Water is life. We need water to survive. Pisces being the last zodiac sign embodying all the traits from the previous 11 signs enables Pisces to be connected to the collective conscience for various reasons. So I'm going to break down how Pisces are naturally psychic and use telepathy without trying to sound like this is a Marvel movie. And for those who don't know what telepathy means, telepathy is the ability to know what is in someone else's mind or to communicate with someone mentally without using words or other physical signals. Insight. 
the eyes. First, we start with insight. The definition of insight is the capacity to gain an accurate and deep understanding of someone or something. To quickly note, everybody uses telepathy. Think of when you and your best friend see something funny. You just look at each other and then burst out laughing. Why? Because you know what each other is thinking. But that is a weaker form of telepathy that comes through familiarity and a natural connection we develop with our close people. You can have the same thoughts of someone you share a house with, for example. It's not psychic, it's mostly just being familiar. Pisces can do these same familiar movements with absolute strangers. This is how you can understand the difference here. The key thing to know is, on a human level it's strangers, but on a spiritual level, everyone is connected when it comes to Pisces. How do we understand things? How do we learn about things? Well, there'll be a teacher teaching, and in turn, you must listen to understand what you are being taught. What or who is the greatest teacher known to humans? Experience. Experience is the best teacher any of us can have in life. Yeah, we can read from a textbook all day, but nothing compares to actually gaining practical experience in whatever you're learning about. But it doesn't end there. Experience is where you're given the knowledge in your hand. Where wisdom comes in is when you actually get familiar and study that knowledge and know when to use it. I know I've used this analogy before, but perfect example is learning to drive. You can study the theory test all day, know all the answers, but when you step into a car to drive for the first time, you will very quickly realise how much you don't know about driving. But now, you can learn practical lessons and get some experience behind the wheel. After a while, you'll be able to mix that theory knowledge and the experience of your lessons. But you can be at this stage and still not be qualified to drive alone. You've still got a test to pass. What does every driving instructor say when you do actually pass the test? Now you can learn to drive. When Pisces are born here, they come here with the experience of driving and the knowledge from the theory book of life and people. How? Because they've been here at least 11 times before. They've passed 11 lessons before to reach this stage in Pisces. Now it's time to learn how to drive, i.e. Learn how to master your abilities. Pisces is a sign that is notorious for their eyes. It's like a cheat sheet to being able to tell what sign someone is. If you see a Pisces in real life and look in their eyes, then you will know it's a Pisces. You will just know. Even when Pisces are known to be the chameleons of the zodiac, their eyes can give it away because when you look in them, you will see and feel the dreaminess in one way or another. It don't even need to actually look dreamy. You will feel it. You will sense it. These same eyes are exactly how Pisces gains insight into whoever they are dealing with because the eyes are the windows to the soul. So the eyes of another is what Pisces will be using their dreamy eyes to unlock you and dive in. Here's how you will always get lost in a Pisces eyes. So, if a Pisces is reading you, they will be quiet. Because why? because that's how you learn. Not every Pisces is quiet because they're shy. Most are quiet because they are listening, learning. So as Pisces are quiet and looking at you, as you speak and speak, you will be looking at the Pisces to make sure they are listening to you, or surprised they're even still listening to you. Where are you going to look to make sure they are? You are going to look them in their eyes, and every time you look at the Pisces' eyes, it will make you feel comfortable to keep on talking and talking as the Pisces is learning and learning while you think they're just listening and listening. Basically, Pisces' eyes unlocks your mouth. That's what the trick is. So through this method, Pisces gains insight into you from what you are saying. It's part sensing through reading your eyes and part knowing from your own words. The problem with this is, not everyone likes making eye contact or holding eye contact. It can be very awkward or intimidating depending on the scenario. Even in the most intimate moment with a Pisces, you can still feel awkward making direct eye contact for too long. 
Because you can even be naked in front of a Pisces and feel like they are seeing even more than what you are already showing. You got your knockers or your crown jewels out and feel like this Pisces is seeing even more. How? When on a human level, it's not even possible to reveal more than the naked body, right? So these feelings can make some avoid eye contact even if they don't feel like they're being read. Just that they can tell that the Pisces may be seeing something they aren't. So from here, Pisces can gain insight into you by going the light fish or the dark fish route, with both goals being to unlock you, through empathy or manipulation. Empathy is the stage after telepathy. That's when Pisces really connects with you. Empathy is the easiest way Pisces will learn about others, but I've covered that in another video. Telepathy is different. Telepathy is like the first step that starts off subconsciously, then can turn into action. Empathy is straight actions and reactions. So for a Pisces to gain insight into a human being that's kinda closed off, they will have to operate as a human, to see the soul. You have to see through the human, and this is where Pisces will turn to the emotions. The ocean of emotions is vast and that Pisces has come here having so much experience from past lives, they will be very familiar with every emotion subconsciously and all the elements. A part of a Pisces lesson here is to remember these lessons all in one. And when they do, not if they do, when a Pisces does, cause something will happen to wake them up. They will be able to use any emotion for any reason. It won't have to make sense. The whole point is being able to use it. They can use sadness at a time of joy, anger at a time of happiness. You get the gist. Control how they're feeling. Again, do not confuse Pisces for the other water signs. Emotions doesn't rule or control Pisces. The easiest way to understand this is recognizing Pisces is symbolized by fishes. And it doesn't take an Albert Einstein level of thinking to realise how a crab, a scorpion and a fish moves in water. So this enables Pisces to be the most emotionally intelligent with every feeling and being able to use each one and not get swept away by it. Instead, swim along with it. So to gain insight into you, an emotion that triggers eye contact will be used. Off the top of your head, think of what emotions trigger serious eye contact with another. There's many, but the one I'll focus on right now is anger. Anger. Anger will always guarantee you eye contact long enough for you to pick up info. Now, do not misunderstand me. I'm not telling any Pisces to go around winding people up. But you see, if you appear a closed book to a Pisces, they will open you up one way or another. And when you mature as a Pisces, you have the ability to feel to its core and to not feel it at all. You have the ability to dive deep with someone and not get wet. And this is also where many Pisces get called fake too, if they reveal their self. But ask yourself this, is water wet? Anyway, when you trigger someone to full blown rage, whilst remaining calm, you will get the greatest possible insight you can into that person because they will reach a level of losing control which in turn reveals everything they will normally be hiding. The opposite to this is empathy. But Pisces can also be a dark empath, so there's many ways to read you. Not to generalise, as I know many Aries that are not the aggressive type, but with this strategy is why Aries are the easiest sign of the whole zodiac to read. Because they show anger quicker than anyone else and who are seen as the most passive and non-confrontational sign in the zodiac. Fishy old Pisces. And me and you both know, Pisces are not non-violent. But this life is a game of chess, and Pisces is not a pawn in it. Never forget, we are on a stage. Everyone's acting. This is what Pisces knows regardless of the setting. So when you're full-blown angry and letting go of any pretense, Pisces is going to stand there and allow you to go batshit crazy as they get to see the real you as you yourself reveal yourself. These are extreme cases, 
In typical settings, just speaking to a Pisces, the calmness of a Pisces aura will make you feel comfortable enough to lock eyes for at least a few seconds, but if not, another way will be found. But insight will always be gained by a Pisces that has their sights on you. Telepathy is the alert. Telepathy is like a quick scan. Empathy is a deep scan. Pisces are ruled by Jupiter that wants Pisces to expand its knowledge like Sagittarius and it's ruled by Neptune who is not only deceptive but represents universal oneness i.e. when Pisces knows their self they will know you too. The 12th house of Pisces can be associated with things like depression and I don't like to mix mental issues with astrology stuff but you see how depression can give you an out of body experience if it gets real bad where you feel like you're floating. This is what Pisces can do without being depressed because it's their home. They can be in control of it. They can detach their self from their body and float. This removal of soul from body is what enables Pisces to gain a crazy level of introspection. Even in the worst places like hospitals and prisons, 12th house Pisces places, this is how Pisces can adapt to it. John Wayne Gacy once said, I'm just as lovable and jokeable as I was back then. I don't sit around worrying about the death penalty and things like that. Where Pisces can not only watch and read their self extremely well, but also others, they can read you as a human, like Virgo, and read you as a spirit, like Pisces, their self. They will look at everything and everyone from all angles, not understanding each side, like a Libra. No, they will understand every angle of the subject matter. Libras being able to read others extremely well is where Pisces and Libras get compared to each other. There's many, many fuck shit going on behind the scenes every single day in this world. You won't believe how distracted we all are on a day-to-day -day basis, just going through the motions every day. Many, many distractions to stop you questioning things, where you end up not having any insight into anything because you are so overloaded with a bunch of nonsense and useless information. We are in the era of binge watching, but at the same time, our attention spans are shorter. The psyche is under attack from the minute you unlock your phone with your eyes or thumbprint. I mean from the minute you open your eyes from sleeping actually. You ain't just woken up from a dream, nah, you've woken up into a dream. One thing I've never taken to in this modern day is TikTok. Not the entertainment it provides or the wisdom people spread on it, but just the format of it. You can be scrolling, minding your business, next minute, some random person's in your face talking some random shit and it's like, get out my face bro. Do you get what I mean? It's like they push all their energy onto you where you potentially end up in a trance. Sitting down continuously scrolling and only semi in control of the things being fed to you. You're not even searching for things you like, you're being fed it and don't even know what's next. The AI is thinking for you. It's reading your mind and showing you what will keep your eyes locked onto it. Pisces and Aquarius are two signs that will be aware of this ultra level of technology and illusion going on. And even when we think we're just watching a video, if you're on your phone and watching this, you forget that your phone camera is looking right at you. Who is reading you right now is the question. Who is gaining insight into your thoughts from the things you can't help watching? You can say things to your camera or whilst you're on your phone that triggers someone or something to watch you through your camera as like an alert. It's real shit and I'm included in that as I do these videos but I'm aware of what I'm in. But I say that to say this, all that confusion and deception and illusions is all Neptune. It's Neptune that's got everyone under a fog of dreams here on earth. In that fog walks Neptune's children whose eyes are all wide open. If it's not open yet, it will be opened eventually. Pisces are the dreamers. Others are living in a dream. Neptune has enlightened Pisces. So who's going to have the advantage of gaining insight into everyone else here? The dream world Pisces goes to is not on earth. It's out there in space and in the psyche behind the face. That gives Pisces that laser beam to see what is unseen. Scorpio's laser will see through you. 
Pisces will see what's behind you. Do not confuse what that means. Because Pisces sees their self as connected to everyone. It feels it. Scorpio doesn't. That's the stage of Pisces. Pisces will take trips with your soul to understand the motives of your soul whilst in the Pisces dreams. That's when it gets extreme. That's where you can end up lost. Pisces can sense what's on your mind through looking at your eyes, but that's a sense. Not really a guessing, but an idea. The confirmation will come from your mouth. You yourself will speak your mind to a Pisces that uses their eyes and ears on you. If you lie to a Pisces, Pisces is familiar with lies and deception through Neptune. So Pisces will certainly detect if you are being dishonest. The problem here for others is, a Pisces will play along. They will let you think you've deceived them if they haven't gained enough insight into you yet. So while your person is thinking they have deceived a Pisces person, the Pisces soul is offering your soul a listening ear in a metaphysical confessional booth and when they eventually talk, the words will leave your mouth in reality. And if you've taken note to what I've said Pisces will be doing this whole time, it's listening. The only words that will be spoken is to either comfort you to open up or to annoy you to open up. Either way, the rest of the communication and transferring of information will be non-verbal. Your mouth and eyes will be talking while Pisces eyes are listening. Pisces can hear what you are saying and what you are not saying with their eyes alone. Where you can look at your close sibling and know what they're thinking because you've grown together and are from the same mother. Pisces can look at anyone and know what they are thinking from both souls being connected to a collective conscience. Once they lock eyes, it's like tuning into a fuzzy radio station. The connection becomes clear. And now Pisces can listen to the signal your channel is emitting no matter what the human relation is. Hindsight. The mind. The definition of hindsight is the ability to understand after something has happened, why or how it was done and how it might have been done better. Jupiter, the planet of luck and wisdom, allows Sagittarius the chance to learn and gain wisdom through the knowledge gained. Jupiter rules Sagittarius, so it gives Sagis a natural backing, a support in expanding through knowledge. Sag are initially known for speaking before they think, i.e. being tactless, but what that turns into is an extremely wise person when matured because they learn from their mistakes. Cancers are another Jupiterian sign because Jupiter is exalted in Cancer, meaning it loves to be there. Paired with the moon, which governs your emotional foundation, your memory, your childhood experience, like your upbringing, this gives you a sign that will learn from their past. Cancers are known to be nostalgic, but being nostalgic is how they grow. They have a great memory, but also work with their memories in the present. Now, Pisces is also ruled by Jupiter and works of hindsight too, like Cancer's. But where Cancer's hindsight comes from their childhood experiences, or just previous experiences in this lifetime, Pisces' hindsight comes from past lives. Let's deep this. If you have a soul that's been through all the other life lessons, and are now at a stage where the wisdom from these lessons are active, you're going to have one wise person by default. And that is who Pisces is. Simply put, Pisces are born with hindsight. Pisces won't know how they know what to do and what not to do. They will just know what's what. The knowledge, the wisdom is stored in the Pisces psyche and through this, is what makes Pisces the most slippery people of them all. When you are operating out of the spirit and are connected to the collective conscience, you become in tune with not only your soul and your memories, but also everyone else's. Where a Sag can learn from another's mistakes, a Pisces will have like a natural inbuilt catalogue that also contains another person's mistakes. Everyone's mistakes. This is where Pisces have natural senses. It's like a car backing up too close to a wall and the sensors go off. So where telepathy and being psychic comes into this is, 
Pisces mind is naturally connected to yours. So they just know what you're thinking. What happens is, if a Pisces is watching you and you do something to trigger a subconscious memory in a Pisces head, they will automatically connect it with the past and just know where this situation is heading. I've separated hindsight and foresight, but with Pisces, it's literally in one. Pisces has foresight because of hindsight. Cancers have hindsight. Sagittarius has foresight. Pisces has both along with insight. How does a Pisces and Cancer's wisdom differ then? Well, Cancers are working off hindsight from when they was a human child. Pisces is working off from when they were a child, a teen, an adult, an elderly person in numerous lifetimes before this one alongside being connected with everyone else as a whole now. It's on a completely different level. To each and every human, the psyche is everything. It's your soul. Do not confuse the fourth house of Cancer ruled by the moon with the 12th house of Pisces ruled by Neptune and Jupiter. There's almost nothing physical going on in the 12th, but it's a very active and mysterious place. That little voice you hear in your head is not your inner child. It's not that kid who stayed a kid and is now trying to guide adult you. It's not your emotions talking to you. It's your soul. It don't matter how you was raised or the candied yams you love to eat at Thanksgiving with the family. That soul is old and experienced by the time it reaches the 12th house. And that is who Pisces becomes fully at one with at this stage. So when you're a Pisces, everything from your soul is literally activated. It has to be. What's been behind the scenes this whole time on your soul's journey gets put to the forefront of that human shell you are in. That's the only way you will reach transcendence after accepting that you are a part of the collective. I've made that sound so simple and same time complicated but that mindset to develop as a Pisces is not easy at all but it becomes easier the more in tune you are with your soul. You literally submit to something greater than you. So when it comes to the mind of the soul, the Pisces computer, Pisces is a perfect candidate to play serious mind games because we're not just talking emotions here. We're talking someone who's using all their emotions intelligently. I.e. if you gain control of your own mind, which a matured Pisces ends up doing, here you are able to not only connect with other people's minds, but also control their minds too. Just so you understand how hindsight with a Pisces works again. If you and a Pisces travel somewhere new and experiences new things together, to the Pisces person it will be new, but to the Pisces soul it will be a memory. So off the bat, Pisces will have hindsight about a current event that they have never experienced before in this lifetime unless it's literally a completely new thing or place that has not existed in the last 2000 plus years. This is where intuition comes in and why Pisces is the most intuitive sign. The problem is when the Pisces doesn't trust their own intuition, which is basically an alert from their own soul because it doesn't make logical sense to the Pisces. For example, I've never been to this area before. I know nothing about it, but why do I feel like I should start running? That doesn't even make sense. I'll just walk. Then the Pisces realises they're in a sundown town and their mind was telling them to run before sundown. Now it's sundown and they're about to get gunned down. You get the gist. Because maybe in a past life, they or someone they knew or just a memory they have in their psyche from the collective was aware of this knowledge, but the Pisces person wasn't. So it's a whole load of madness basically. Pisces has to learn to trust their instincts. Pisces has a natural sensitivity. Their senses are on a hundred when they're connected. So when Pisces listens or is aware of their subconscious and are around others, they will not only have insight into you, but through hindsight, memories, knowledge and wisdom and their current senses, they can almost easily and accurately gain foresight for how a situation will unfold. Jupiter helps Sag and Pisces have foresight, but Neptune is what opens Pisces' eyes and senses even more. Now, they may not be vocal about it or be connected yet, 
And that's where it can be dangerous for the Pisces as it's like walking in the dark with shades on and earplugs in. But when vocal about what they just naturally sense, others around a Pisces would immediately clock on that Pisces are not only connected to somewhere else, but that their minds are so advanced. It's as if they are living in a time that's a few steps ahead of the current time. You gotta see it to believe it like a Sag. If you're not a Pisces, Scorpio and Aquarius normally gets it too, but every Pisces will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's something that just naturally happens without thought. It's automatic. It's instinctual. So how the mind games works is, let's say you're around any of the water signs and you're a strong-willed person. It's your way that goes. You don't compromise. Cancer's emotions are going to drown them, where they are going to one way or another show you that they aren't happy about it. Why? Because you're in their shell. In their shell could mean you're just in their presence at that time, but you're their people. So literally, anything can happen to you, but what will most likely happen to you is they will go extremely passive aggressive on you. I'm talking sitting there soaking, giving you one word answers. You can look at them and see they are upset. And what cancers are hoping you do is change your mind and go their way. This is who cancers are. Don't confuse them with the other two water signs. If you don't cave, cancers can then either leave and continue the soaking towards you or fake ghost you or they can literally force you to change your mind which could lead to your demise. Scorpios will get crafty and won't allow you to have your way like that. They want to be in control and will feel extremely vulnerable allowing another to have power over them unless they really love them. So a Scorpio will either argue with you to have their way or they will leave after doing some sort of damage. They will feel the emotions trying to take over them but they have enough strength to control it in the moment unlike cancers. This can also mean using it to end you. A Scorpio won't allow you to see them emotional in that moment. You will sure feel it but what you'll see from them is rage if anything. You may see it as only rage towards you but it's also rage to fight their own emotions. The emotions will hit Scorpio hard when they get alone time and that's where they become frozen, trying to deal with them. If they can't deal with them, they may come back for you. Scorpio can play mind games as they are a sign that probes the psyche of others, but that they aren't fully in control of their own yet, their games will be easily seen by other observant signs. Maybe as a Pisces I'm presuming that others can see through a Scorpio's manipulation tactics but as a Pisces, a Scorpio is see-through as hell. Every sign is, because they're all in the Pisces psyche. Cancers have more success at manipulation than Scorpio does and that is from Jupiter's exaltation and that Cancers are a cardinal sign. The moon just runs them through the emotions, making them moody. They don't have control of it. The physical representation of this that we all can see is how the moon changes. But cancers literally learn how to be extremely manipulative through hindsight and being a cardinal sign, which means they will attempt the manipulation more than Pisces and Scorpio. Whether they're successful or not with it is another story. Scorpio will tend to focus the majority of their energy on healing their self. There's a lot of internal psyche healing to deal with at that stage, which can make them as self-centered as an unevolved Leo. With Pisces, if you don't give a Pisces their way. Now, I have to give two examples of a Pisces light and dark, because unlike the other two water signs, you literally can get two different versions. It's not as predictable as the others. So if a Pisces is light-sided, it will still be a mind game that gets played. So if you don't let them have their way, they may falsely submit in that moment, let you have your way and control how they personally feel about it. They won't be sitting there fighting off any emotions, other than irritation at most. They'll numb their self for the occasion. This is how Pisces keeps a clear head. So this is what gives Pisces all that space to logically think of and spiritually explore how to get you with the emotions because you're going to feel it one way or another. So a Pisces could think, cool, have your way, I'll stay, but once I leave this place, even with the biggest smile on my face, you will never hear from me again. I'm going to be the best company you've ever had 
then ghost you. And Pisces can ghost you forever from just that. You can call that passive aggressive, but it's not like how cancers are passive aggressive. It's more of a hidden motive with Pisces. Because even if you know, deep down the Pisces must be pissed because they didn't get their way. They aren't showing it to you. They'll play it cool. Pisces always plays chess. Always. If you're playing noughts and crosses, then that's not the Pisces fault. If immature, they can act like cancers by soaking. Scorpios soak the most by the way, contrary to popular and spooky belief, because they're a fixed sign. They just do it in isolation. Now if Pisces are dark-sided, not only can they act negatively like cancer by passionately bringing about your demise, or Scorpio by throwing a rage that may be fatal, they have the option to do either. But a Pisces can also start projecting their thoughts without even opening their mouth to speak to attack your psyche. So the Pisces can stay around you and be quiet, but be sending you signals to your head. Horrible signals. Things that will make you very uncomfortable, where you can't even enjoy what you've had your way about. Any random fuck shit Pisces gets in their head, they can send it straight to you. This is the dark side of the Pisces telepathy. And if you've ever been around a Pisces and you start randomly thinking of some dark shit and it's completely foreign to your usual mindset, then you've been a victim to it. When light-sided, Pisces will keep these things from you. When dark-sided, they will CC you in on all that shit. I can't put it into words how Pisces does this, it's just something they can do. Again, I don't want this to sound like Matilda learning she can move objects with her mind. It's just an internal projection a Pisces can do and it can also happen subconsciously where the Pisces person didn't mean to do it but the soul did it. The soul and the body are two separate things. I must add, remember Pisces are one of the four dual signs in the mutable group alongside Sag, Gemini and Virgo. The Pisces won't even have to be looking at you. They can be looking at the TV or whatever. So as you start to feel uncomfortable and look at the Pisces, it will confuse you even more because they don't even look like they're focused on you. When metaphysically, their soul has got your soul in a chokehold. Your soul is getting that whole lot of Bart Simpson choking. Your brain is getting treated like a speedball in a Mayweather training session. But it won't end there. Because when you start to soften up and think to give the Pisces their way, just because they've appeared like they've given you your way, but now you feel guilty and uncomfortable, the Pisces will decline and still let you have your way, knowing that you are suffering in your mind, where you end up pleading for the Pisces to have their way just to stop yourself internally suffering. How will Pisces know this mental beating is affecting you? They'll briefly look at you, or at least look your way, and they'll pick up on the subtle cue of discomfort. You could even just be scrunching your nose a little, as if you've got trapped wind. That's one way a Pisces will know, because from their own subconscious memories, it will line up with a discomforting reaction they've had in lifetimes before. It's connecting the dots, but it's much more advanced than Connect 4. This is what you call manipulation at its finest, and not one word has been said. This is the same effect as sending someone a clip that has a jump scare knowing they hate scary things. They might not even go mad at you and respond, but you will know they felt it because you'll see the two blue ticks. This is Pisces in real life. They will mentally share fuckery with you knowing it will fuck you up whether you express it or not. It's what we call checkmate. I've always said, you will feel when a Scorpio is mad because they will be emitting the energy whether they mean to or not. This is where they can't stay hidden because that rage inside will be sensed by even cold people. But Pisces can purposely transfer that energy to you. You think it's words and fun and games until you're around a Pisces who doesn't have your best interests at heart and fucked up shit starts to happen to you and only you. All the while, Pisces looks calm as ever and will act like they're weathering the storm for you if they're dark-sided. Your own thoughts are powerful. You need to be aware of how you speak to yourself, because you can damage your own self. This is what Scorpios battle with. Their psyche. They battle with their self. 
Aries battles with others. Scorpio battles with their self, mainly. Pisces connected to your thoughts can damage you through thoughts alone in the same way. No words are needed. And this is why it's even worse when Pisces goes from non-verbal to verbal. Because as well as those negative thoughts doing you damage, the words will take chunks out of your soul like a metaphysical shark bite. From that, you can gain some insight into why when a Pisces does eventually launch an actual shark attack, your existence will turn to a memory. In reality, Pisces is not as easy to read or predict at all. If it was, Pisces wouldn't be the mysterious sign they are. Of course Pisces can play the victim and moan, but they don't have to, because they can communicate with your mind and take you down from behind the scenes, especially if you are in their presence. This won't work as strong through like Texan, but in a Pisces presence, you are in their ocean, not their shell or their claws, their ocean. So piss a Pisces off when you're around them, then you've still got a long way to go before making it back to land, because you're dealing with the ruler of the ocean. Meaning, even if you leave the Pisces presence, you're not safe yet, because you don't know what the Pisces has sent to follow you. What's the most dangerous warfare to the human being? Psychological warfare. Because this is a fight that is not visible. And that is an area where Pisces dwells. So you will not win. Psychological warfare is what humans are constantly under attack by through things like the media and the majority are not even aware of it. Whoever said communication is key needs to check the world we are living in because no communication is what allows the mind to fill in the gaps and what often fills in those gaps are wrong and that is why whoever or whatever is in control here will stay in control here because they are silent about the truth. Let me pick your brain for a second. Imagine you looked outside your window and the whole place was blue. It's just blue everywhere. Even the people. Everyone. Everyone looks like Smurfs. And there's no news reporting it. The MPs, the president, the kings, the queens, the government, no one is acknowledging it but the people. The people are the only ones talking about it, coming up with theories and explanations, but no one knows the real deal because the ones who are in control are not communicating. Same time, how do we know the ones in control even know what the truth is too? Maybe they're as lost as the people. No one will know until the ones who really knows what's happening starts talking. And that's what Pisces is like to others. Fuck shit up without saying a word. Even when they know why you're getting nightmares of being chased by a headless unicorn. Because they sent that your way. They will still act as dumbfounded as you if they don't want to be caught. And they'll get away with it too because... Where's the proof? You're going to prove that Pisces is sending you thoughts of cars being run over by 18 wheeler trucks? Are you crazy? How can a Pisces possibly do that? Are you crazy? Have you taken your meds? In other words, you don't want to go there with a Pisces and a Sagittarius to be fair because they are the masters of deflection. They will answer questions with questions and if you aren't prepared, your brain will be fried with confusion. The funny thing is, if Pisces tells you what they've done, it won't sound believable. Even the way I'm trying to describe these things doesn't sound believable unless you've experienced it. Pisces really does work with telepathy. And when Pisces tells you the whole place is blue because a cosmic giant Papa Smurf was fresh off No Nut November and aimed it at Earth, you'll think Pisces is just deluded. As I always say, these are in extreme circumstances. This won't happen if like you and your Pisces partner are arguing about what movie to watch. Cancers will throw a strop at something petty like that. Pisces can compromise with you, no problem. Like cool, we watch your film today, then mine tomorrow. Pisces doesn't have a problem putting others before them. But there has to be a balance. Be selfish around a Pisces, only caring about your own needs, and you will be attacked one way or another by that Pisces. And your mind will always receive some sort of damage, no matter what action the Pisces takes. Speaking of nuts, I like to say Pisces has pre-nut clarity, male and female. For those who don't know, post-nut clarity is like the realisation after you have released and kind of compromised yourself in some way. 
Like you regret what caused your release. It's like hindsight in the bedroom. We've all been there when you're down bad. So prenup clarity is like realizing you will regret it before doing it. Pisces just have an awareness, a realization already built in before doing things. And that's where it's come from. The past lives and lessons that stored in the collective psyche that Pisces is now connected to. Understand what your instincts are, especially as a Pisces. It's that very, very, very first thought, that first feeling. It's extremely on point as a Pisces, but there are so many things that could come in and challenge it. I'm talking like a millisecond after. A thought of doubt or something else could come right after that correct assumption and cloud your own judgment. This is where Pisces can be deluded by their own self. Where you went to war with your own soul. Your soul told you it's this, then your person, your conscious person dismissed it very quickly to be more logical in thought. Things like deja vu will be a very regular occurrence for our Pisces. Very regular. That moment where you feel like you've lived it before. That glitch in the matrix. That moment where it's like, whoa, I've seen this before. Did you know some Pisces have that so strong that they actually know what's going to happen next? Like if someone's going to walk through the door or something. Instead of it being a split second glitch, it's like five seconds, which is a very long time in that world. How do you even describe the feeling of deja vu? Because it's not a nostalgic feeling, even though the premise is, you've experienced it before. What if all the lives you have lived are actually active right now in another dimension? What if you aren't connected with the past, and you're actually just connected with the present in another reality? Tens, hundreds, thousands of realities, where you all share the same lessons learnt. What if everyone and everything in your life is just a figment of your imagination? What if you wake up one day and your whole life up until now was just one big dream? You wake up tomorrow and you've got nursery to go to. These type of thoughts is what stops Pisces being grounded in this place we call Earth. And that's because we're not supposed to be grounded. We're supposed to be able to float and land until we permanently fly from here. The human mind is a computer that's been programmed from birth. But Pisces knows there's a supercomputer that every computer is connected to that has nothing to do with this programming on Earth. So to access your files is not hard for a Pisces to do. To alter your code is not hard for a Pisces to do. To shut down your server is not hard for a Pisces to do. You can call it being a snake. I call it being an oarfish. It's bigger than what you think and it isn't what you think. When you think you've figured a Pisces out, a Pisces will know what you're thinking and switch into what you're not thinking and that's how they keep from sinking. Although a Pisces can be everything you want them to be, they can also be everything you don't want them to be. And just like reading your eyes, Pisces can read your mind from just being in your presence. But it's an idea, an alert. The confirmations come from your actions. If a Pisces senses you've got something dodgy going on in your mental that you're keeping hidden, they will make sure to stay around you to either pull it out through empathy or just hang around as what's in the dark always comes to light. But Pisces is also the light that goes to the dark and when they stumble across your thoughts in the ocean that looks like a library on the Titanic, they have the tools and a flashlight to read it or at least read the synopsis on the back. It won't matter if you mind that a Pisces is reading your mind because there isn't currently any currency to pay it any mind anyway. Foresight. 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 The mouth. The mouth. The mouth. The mouth. The definition of foresight is the ability to judge correctly what is going to happen in the future and plan your actions based on knowledge. So to recap, Insight to a Pisces is using their eyes to look into yours to get a glimpse of your soul. They can pick up so many cues by watching you to gain an insight. No words is needed from the Pisces, but your words is what will confirm the Pisces observations. 
Hindsight to a Pisces is an automatic understanding of things in present day from a past lifetime or lifetimes. An access to the collective psyche which starts off subconsciously but can easily become a conscious awareness. As I've said, foresight is natural to a Sagittarius due to Jupiter. All they do is look ahead at the next adventure. All this looking ahead and taking adventures enables them to know what to expect with unknown places. And how does this work? Because everything is connected. Sages get to see it. My dad was a Sag. He was a typical wise Sag. But one thing he taught me from young was how to play chess. I cannot tell you how much hours I spent as a child playing chess with my dad. And although I never beat him, as I grew, I fully understood why he chose that game to sit down and teach me. If you don't know how to play chess, then I suggest you learn it, then get good at it, as it's one game you can apply to life. One thing chess teaches you is to win, you must use foresight. You have to be thinking steps ahead. Not only calculate your steps ahead, but predict your opponent's moves and have potential plans for if you predict correctly. You see when you've played chess so much times that you've developed your own style of play, your own sequences, you become so fluid that your mind and the board becomes one. You're able to manoeuvre as quickly as a fish in water and that you're connected with the board, you're not only connected with your movements but you're connected with your opponent's movements too. And that analogy is exactly how Pisces can predict others' movements and move ahead of time. What can you learn from the past? Through hindsight. Patterns. You get to clock patterns. Remember, Pisces is the most advanced water sign and the oldest of them all. Cancers are about the past, like nostalgia, stuck in the past to an extent. Scorpio is stuck in the now. Scorpio's put in work now. Pisces takes traits from both these signs and now is forward thinking from being familiar with the past and present. This is why and how Pisces gets seen as psychic when really it's just an understanding of life and how things work. The past, the present and the future are one. Or if they aren't one, Pisces will view them as one. And from the moment a Pisces does this, they are far away from this place, floating everywhere and nowhere at the same time. If you understand the past, then link the past with the present, it makes it easier to understand the future because everything has a cycle. Even down to the simplest things like a pair of Jordans, that was the in thing when you was a child. You'll see them being sold again now and people now treat it like it's new, but to you it's old. You call Pisces psychic, I call Pisces experienced, full of knowledge and wisdom. As I said at the start, you will have those Pisces who can actually predict things in the future and practice spiritual stuff, but those things are more dependent on your chart. You don't need to be a Pisces to be a medium, for example. It sure does give a heightened sensitivity to everything, being a Pisces though. And this is what also opens the door for many money grabbing fake spiritual people to cross your path when you're looking for answers. Cause it's hard for the average person to decipher what is real and what is not. A Pisces will spot a fake spiritualist or false prophet like it's nothing. Cause that natural spiritual essence from that person to the Pisces won't be there if they're fake. So Pisces will know they are not really from that world or know what they are on if they are. I've seen some of them in some church related family events. I always spot them, then get confirmation. A lot of church goers practice white magic and some black magic. How some of you American women say it, it's giving. It's giving spiritual Virgo. That's the vibe the ones in church give me. Evil spiritual Virgo vibes no matter what they're practicing. And the ones I've come across that do like palm readings and stuff, especially in the traveller communities, they give off Pisces vibes with a hint of deceit. Like I'm real, but I'm gonna rob you, sort of thing. In London, sometimes random women and men from the South Asian community will just start reading you. They'll blatantly look in your third eye 
and start telling you accurate stuff about yourself down the street. They're normally in supermarket car parks. They give off Pisces vibes too. Your clothes, your appearance, your skin means jack shit. They'll read you regardless. And this is what I say about the Pisces energy and boundaries. It's all fun and games. Pisces don't have boundaries until they come and cross yours. It's not a joke. It's very surreal stuff to experience in real life. And that's the difference I'm trying to explain. There's being a Pisces that has a natural level of clairvoyance, but then there's people on earth that's operating on a higher octave. There's other places in London where like African voodoo men will be handing out their cards down the street. Typically in the poorer areas. You think it's a cab service or something. You read it and it says black magic this and that. They give off evil Scorpio vibes. I just don't fuck with any of them personally. I can't spiritually trust anybody but the creator and myself. I'll never volunteer myself to be read in any kind of way. But that's just me. If any of you deal with those people, make sure you go to one with a solid, solid reputation. That's all I'll say. Because they can do a lot more harm than good. Especially if you don't follow what they say or have the money to carry out what they want to do. Some will be fakes, but some will be real, but also evil or can do evil. So mind yourself if that's your thing. As a Pisces, you can really enter that field if you tap in. It will come naturally to you. Scorpios are more prone to dabble in that world and will more than likely be teaching a Pisces about it than Pisces teaching a Scorpio about it. But Pisces are connected to it regardless. And people are really dabbling under the choir and protected out here. So be careful who you offend in real life too. Some are naturally protected and others get protected. And it's not just poor people in the hood that mess with it. Rich people do too. But the stories you will hear will more than likely come from the hood. Listen, I know of a guy who tried to head off another guy who was known to mess with that. And the guy missed from point blank range. How does that make sense? How do you explain that realistically? You can't. Because that's what Pisces stuff is. That's what the 12th house is. Anything and everything can happen there. And it doesn't need to make sense on earth. So getting back on track. When it comes to a general predicting of the future and being a Pisces, it's going to mainly come from experience. An unknown experience. No matter how the Pisces presents it to you, it's going to come from experiences from past lives and some from the current life. From insight, what knowledge is gained will also be stored in the psyche. This allows other people Pisces come across to be quickly identified by familiarity. You can say people get put into mental categories. Again, this is something Libras do and how they know others so well. So from that, it's like a present database on top of an already integrated database, which all contributes to hindsight from the past. To predict outcomes involving people or events becomes second nature to a Pisces because history repeats itself. Mercury, the sign of intellect, doesn't work well in Pisces because Mercury wants to analyse. And the whole point with Pisces is you can't analyse what you can't see. The metaphysical is either a knowing or not. When Pisces tries to apply logical thought or even just thinking about things, a Pisces just does in general, that's where it becomes confusing. It's not easy for a Pisces to explain their self. The only reason I can even attempt to explain Pisces is because I don't think about it. I just let it flow through me, then push it out to the world. When it flows, it shows. Simone Biles once said, Most people would focus on concentrating more, and I can't do that. It almost makes me overthink a lot of my things. I have to focus on not thinking. Here's a trick I learned from early, which may help you other Pisces when it comes to being creative. If I want to write a song about two people falling in love on a bus, for example, right before I go sleep, I'll picture two people on a bus with my mind already knowing I want to write a song about them. I can swear on my life. When I wake up the next morning, I'll have all the lyrics for the whole song already written in my head. All I'll have to do is write it down. 
So try it. It may work for you. It may not. There's not no one way to be creative. And that's the beauty of it all. But that's how I operate. It's like consciously telling my subconscious to work for me while I sleep. The good thing about these videos is other signs will think they can understand a Pisces and clock their traits through them, etc. I mean, you can sit down all day and listen to these videos to gain an understanding. But if you aren't a Pisces, coming across these things in everyday life will go over your head all the time. You can gain an understanding from a past experience with a Pisces as I'm giving you an insight through hindsight, but it will not give you foresight. It will always go over your head. And that's why it appears that I'm revealing all Pisces secrets to an outsider. But all it's really doing is making Pisces aware of their self and helping others understand why they may have had a certain experience with a Pisces. Come across a true Pisces in the real, light or dark, and you'll see what Neptune is about. You won't learn shit about them or their motives until they reveal it their self. So mind out cause we can read your mind through mind reading. Connecting with your being through the eyes then dive deep in. To gain an insight to your kind and apply reason. And hindsight reminds what lies in our minds deep end. The psychic don't have to be the type to light rituals. Or read lines in your palms and calm you with nice crystals. Still the psyche is where the Pisces is afloating. So they know where things are going cause it's all in the ocean. Again, foresight and hindsight go hand in hand with Pisces. The past reveals the future. There's no such thing as coincidences. Everything happens for a reason and it's all connected. When Pisces is locked in, they clock reoccurring patterns with people and things and through this is where they can make a change, i.e. stop that cycle or they can let it run whilst letting others know about it beforehand. Time doesn't exist to Pisces. So while that millisecond response from the psyche is quick here on earth, in the spiritual world, that could have taken days of calculations and analysing to come up with that answer that appeared quick on earth's timing. The dark side to a Pisces foresight can be literally not seeing anything good coming for their self and or others and this may not even be true. All this knowledge and wisdom can make Pisces too stagnant to move anywhere stuck procrastinating and worried of the dangers they are aware of, anxious as hell, creeped out and feel like they are actually crazy. Pair that with the realisation of the type of world we are in. A Pisces can literally completely detach their self from reality while still being here. What people need to not forget whilst calling Pisces delusional and whatnot is Pisces can fully disconnect from all their feelings and fully disconnect from the world and create a flood. If Pisces foresees a flood, which their own mind could have created from being in a negative mindset, then a flood will be seen by all, and the colour of that flood will end up being the colour of what runs through our veins. Forget what Pisces can see happening in the future. Have you ever met a Pisces that is going to dictate how the future goes? You think Pisces aren't planners like Capricorn until you meet a Pisces who has plans to cause a storm. They label it all sorts of things like depression, sociopath, schizo, etc. I call it a demon possession or just a Pisces in fuck it mode who let their demon out. Yes, Pisces can be possessed by evil spirits more easily than any other sign, but also Pisces their self can let their own evil spirit rise and can treat life like a fucking video game. Forget foresight. What about the Pisces whose insight is, nothing is worth it, so now they want to play a game. Albert Einstein once said, The man who regards his own life and that of his fellow creatures as meaningless is not merely unfortunate but almost disqualified for life. This is where Pisces can escape alright. They can escape to a place where you're seen as an NPC in a video game. While you're in reality just minding your business on your way to work or some shit, you're coming across this Pisces who isn't even mentally unwell, they've just disconnected and just don't give a fuck anymore. And you're now an NPC in their video game. You better hope to God, in that type of scenario, you've been programmed as untouchable.
and not one drug needs to be touched for a Pisces to do all these things or sense all these things. Not one. I said Pisces are born with hindsight. Does that sound like a good thing to you? It's all good when it comes to knowing how to avoid things, but what about the other awareness that has come with it? This is where you have a sign that is fully aware of the darkness from every sign. This isn't a selective thing with Pisces like, oh, uh, I'll be connected to this and that, but not that one, not that one. Nah, it all comes with the territory. It's a connection to all. Do they use this for the good or the bad? Depends on the Pisces. A Pisces can see you are going to have a great future and fuck that all up. Spiritually putting a curse on you, mentally making you doubt yourself, physically damaging your looks if you was to be a model or something, verbally leaving teeth marks in your skin where the bite marks never goes, where you remember what Pisces said to you for life. You won't know until you know. When some people hear Pisces are secretive, they'll think, no, no they're not. I know Pisces who talks the whole room to death. But what others don't realise is, even when Pisces talks a lot, they don't actually reveal anything about their self. But that you think they are, that's what makes you reveal yourself. And that's how Pisces gets a real insight about you whilst you stay thinking you know Pisces. Just remember this, Pisces can look at you and predict what is going to happen to you or they can be 100% sure of the outcome by taking your destiny into their hands. Life is a game of chess but Pisces isn't on the board. Bobby Fischer once said, chess is a war over the board. The object is to crush the opponent's mind. Now shut your ass up, put your seatbelts back on and make sure that I always clear. We'll be arriving at our destination shortly. <laughs>